So by the end of this tutorial, what we'll have is, we'll have this tweet controller that we had set up. The user will be able to select an image. Once the image is put in, the user will be able to tweet the image and the image should get saved in our database as a URL and into our storage as the actual image. In the next video, we'll go ahead and display that image in our tweets. As of now, if we tweet, we can see that we'll get the tweet on top without the image. So let's begin. The starter project for this particular video can be found on GitHub. The link is given in the description. Once you download the project, you need to create a project in your Firebase console as well on firebase.google.com and call it Twitter clone. Download the Google service info.pls file created by Firebase and drag it into your project in Xcode. Once we have the file downloaded, we open it in Xcode. We've added the Google service info.pls file here and we're good to go. Starting with a new tweet view controller, we need to do two things. We need to allow the user to be able to click this camera icon here, select a photograph and display the photograph in the tweet. And when the user presses the tweet button, we need to make sure that in the dit tab tweet function, the image is sent along with the tweet to our Firebase database and also the image is stored in our Firebase storage. So let's start by first importing Firebase storage. Next, to allow the user to be able to pick images, we need to implement the controller delegates of the UI image pick picker. So UI image picker controller delegate and also the UI navigation controller delegate. We'll create a variable here called image picker as we have typed UI image picker controller. Now let's come down here, control drag from the camera icon and create an action and let's call it select image from photos. It'll have to be an action and we connect it. So let's just make this a little bigger here. So what we'll check here is if UI image picker controller dot is source type available. The source type we're looking for is saved photos album. Then what we do is we say self dot image picker dot delegate equal to self to set the delegate. Then we say self dot image picker dot source type is equal to saved photos album and self dot image picker dot allows editing equal to true and now we need to just present it so we say present view controller self dot image picker animated equal to true and completion equal to nil Let's just open up this bottom thing so that you guys can see the code clearly and it's not getting hidden in the corner. Now we need to set up the image picker controller function called did finish picking image. So let's do that function did finish picking image. You want this one. So here what we're going to use is something known as an NS mutable attributed string. Basically, an attributed string allows you to change the attributes of the string, add media to the string, and a lot of other things. For this video, we're going to be adding an image using the attributed string. So let's see how we're going to do that. We'll create a variable called attributed string. It's going to be of type ns mutable attributed string. Next, what we'll do is we're going to check if the user has entered any text before trying to select an image. So we'll say if self dot new tweet text view dot text dot characters dot count greater than zero. That is the user has entered some text and is then selecting an image. We'll say attributed string is equal to ns mutable attributed string and the string is going to be self dot new tweet view dot text 
else what we'll say is attributed string is equal to ns mutable attributed string and we'll again put in the default value of what's happening like we had earlier also just add a new line here so that there's some spacing between the text and the image next what we'll do here is we'll create a variable called text attachment it will be of type ns text attachment Basically, this is what will allow us to attach the image to the text and then put it in the attributed string. So let's say let text attachment dot image equal to image. And we will get the width of the original image. So we'll say let old width of type CG float equal to text attachment dot image dot size dot width. And before we put the image into the text view, what we have to do is we have to ensure that it's scaled down to a size which fits in nicely below the text view. So let's see how we'll do that. We'll say let scale factor of type CG float equal to old width of the image divided by the new tweet text view dot frame dot size dot width and subtract the padding from that to get a nice scale factor. Next, we'll just set the image of the text attachment. So we'll say text attachment dot image is equal to UI image. Inside that we'll select CG image. So we'll say text attachment dot image force unwrap that of type CG image force unwrap that as well. Set the scale to the scale factor and set the orientation as up. Now let's create a variable called let attributed string with image and we'll say ns attributed string and in that we'll put in the attachment which we just created which is text attachment. So now we have an attributed string with a text attachment which inside that has an image. Now all we need to do is we need to append this attributed string with image to our attributed string that we created here. So let's say attributed string dot append attributed string and inside that let's put in our attributed string with image and let's replace the new tweet text view with the attributed text which is equal to the attributed string also let's just dismiss the view controller that allows the user to select the image and say true the animation and callback will be nil let's try this out quickly so let's go to the new tweet view there let's select the camera brings us to our photos let's select a photo as we can see the image is getting nicely placed in the center but right now we cannot press the tweet button to tweet the image we need to change that code up so let's finish that up now so let's come to our did tap tweet action we're going to, have to ch change this code up over here to accept images as well so let's start by creating an array called images array of type any object. Then we'll, what we'll have to do is we'll have to go over the attributed text and extract the image from that. So let's see how we'll do that. We'll say self dot new tweet text view dot attributed text dot enumerate attribute. In the attribute name we'll say ns attachment attribute name in the range we'll basically say ns make range and the starting will be zero and the length will be the length of the tweet so new tweet text view dot text dot characters dot count in the options we will give no options and in the block we'll have the value the range and we'll say true to the boolean to stop that is once the image is found don't do any further processing on it now we'll check if the value returned is of type ns text attachment if it is then we say let attachment equal to value 
as NS text attachment. First downcast it and we'll create a variable called image of type UI image and initially set it to nil. Now what we're interested in is to check if the attachment is of type image. So if the attachment is not equal equal to nil, set the image variable equal to attachment dot image and also add the image to the images array, images array dot append image. Else, if we don't, if it is not an image, just for our debugging purpose, we'll print a message saying no image found. Now that once we've dis determined if, now once we've determined if we've got an image or not, there are three cases that can be there. The user could either have entered only text or a text and an image or only an image. So we have to check those three cases and accordingly upload data to our database. Let's, let's create a variable called tweet length to store the length of the text. So we'll let tweet length equal to new tweet text view dot text dot characters dot count and also Let's create a variable called let num images equal to images array dot count to store the number of images. Now in the code that we have previously, we can extract out this key line here and place it outside so that we have the key. We can also create a storage ref where we're going to store our image. So let's create that fir storage dot storage dot reference and what we can do is we can also create a reference for the exact location where we'll store the picture so let's call that let picture storage ref equal to storage ref dot child we'll go under the user profiles Inside that, we'll go under the logged in user as always. Under that, we'll create a node called media. And inside that, under this particular key, we'll store the image. Also, what we'll do is, we don't want all the images to be uploaded at their maximum size. It's gonna take very long, eat up a lot of our data and memory. So let, just for this, let's do low resolution image data equal to UI image JPEG representation. And what we'll do is we'll compress the image to a smaller size by giving it a compressed quality of 0.5. This is your up to you if you want to do this or not. And we're going to have to force downcast this as a UI image. So now the first thing we'll do is first case that we have is we'll check if tweet length greater than zero and and number of images greater than zero. That is if the tweet and an image was put then let's first upload the image by saying let upload task equal to picture storage ref dot put data pass it the low resolution image data, force unwrap it, and we don't wanna pass any metadata, so we'll call it nil. Now return metadata and error in. If error is equal equal to nil, that is the image was uploaded successfully. Let's get the download URL of the image from metadata dot download URL this has to be capital and this has to be metadata and now like we had done earlier we need to update this child updates variable let's just copy this in here and we need to add in another line right now this is only putting in the text and the date let's just copy this path till here till the key and put this in here below this and instead of key and instead of uh, text we'll put it under picture and say 
download url dot absolute string and just force unwrap the download url and here this should be self dot new tweet text view dot text and let's run the update so let's say self dot database ref dot update child views and again pass in child updates next condition we'll check is if the user only puts in text and no image so we'll say else if tweet length greater than zero so in this we basically need this code over here which we had earlier without the update for the image you can just put that in it's passing in the tweet it's passing in the time and it's also updating the values and dismissing the controller the last condition we need to check is else if num images which is if the user only puts in an image and no text in that let's copy this one from here the first one and we'll just edit it once that's there we just need to get rid of this text line over here and the rest of the code remains the same and we need to just dismiss the controller so we'll say dismiss view controller dot animated true completion nil so we have a dismiss view controller here as well which we had forgotten so let's put one here as well animated equal true and completion equal nil and we'll just put in an else block here for the images just to check that if there's an error we'll just say print error dot localize localized description and let's get rid of this code that we had earlier set up so we check if there's an image and text we upload the image and then upload the tweet with the image url second we check if there, there's only text we only update the text and the time and the third one if there's only image we only put in the time and the url and upload the image so we're good to go let's try this out so let's go to the new tweet click here we get the camera icon let's select it select an image click choose the image comes up with what's happening as a default text let's click here and let's tweet this and let's hope it works and there we have it the tweet is updated but as you can see we're only getting the text the picture is not being updated over here let's confirm that the picture has been stored in our database so here in our database we can see that we've got the picture up the url updated we've got the text and we've got the timestamp let's go into our storage go into the user profiles go into our user id and there we see a media folder has come up and inside that with that particular key we have the image uploaded which is already compressed so basically in this tutorial we learned how to add the image updated in our database but right now it cannot show it so in the next tutorial we'll see how we can display the image over here and then build on the app thank you once again for watching please like and subscribe and try this out